This video explains how to enter fundraising money collected and profit posted transactions from many students at one time. To get to the Global Money and Profit screen, click the Finances icon. Then click the Fundraising black tab. Select Global Money and Profit from the drop-down list. Then select the Fundraiser from the drop-down list. The transaction date defaults to the current date. If you need to change it, click the calendar and select the date. The Set Default field is available if you need to enter several transactions for the same date. The red text reminds you of how you set up your student profit entry to be done for the fundraiser. If it is calculated, you'll only need to enter the money collected on this screen. Charms will calculate and enter the student profit automatically. If it says Manual Profit, you'll have the option to enter the profit amount in the same transaction screen where you enter the money collected for each student. Select the bank account ledger, if created, where you want to deposit the money from the drop-down list. Enter the deposit group number. A date is a good deposit group number to use for quick reference later. Charms defaults to today's date, but you can change this. If you are using budgets, select the budget category from the drop-down list. This screen shows all of your active students or members. You can use the Set Filters option to narrow down the list if desired. Here you see the student names in three boxes, green, white, and brown. If the payment is by check, enter the check number in the green box. Note that you can only enter one check number within the field on this global screen. If you want to track multiple checks for a student, use the individual student fundraiser screen instead. It has an option to enter multiple checks for a student's money collected. Next, enter the amount received from the student in the white box, either in cash or by check. Don't use currency signs, just the amounts. The brown box is for the amount of profit to assign to the student. Remember that if your fundraiser is set up with a calculated profit, you won't need to enter the profit here. Just press the tab key after entering the money collected and Charms will calculate the profit automatically. If your profit entry is manual, it can be done at this time or by itself at a later time if you don't know until later on what each student's profit credit is. Whether your profit is manual or calculated, you'll need to select an option from the drop-down list beside each student to indicate where to post the student profit. You can select one of your trips or the student miscellaneous ledger. You can also choose Don't Post Profit if the student does not get individual credit for the money collected but we suggest using the 0% calculated method for this instead of Don't Post Profit. When you have finished entering the money collected and the profit amounts for all students, select Enter Payments. The money collected and profit transactions have been entered. Be sure to check out our library of videos for help with other Charms Office procedures.